So currently, the second series of Magician Impossible is on the screens, 9pm um, on Thursdays on Watch, and it's, it's doing pretty good. The first episode, I think we got 3.7 million viewers. Um, yeah, it's, it's gone a bit crazy, to be honest, since it's, it's been a mad year. You know, I went from walking across the River Thames to getting, you know, mobbed outside HMV when I did a DVD signing. So, yeah, I'm, um, I'm causing magic and hysteria everywhere I go. Uh, can you just tell us, I know you've worked with some, some big stars, can you just tell us a few of the people that you've performed magic to and their reactions? I've performed magic to quite a lot of people over the years, um, you know, from you know royalty like Prince Charles, you know, to hip hop royalty like Jay Z, um, and most recently in my series, you know, I've kind of really kind of stepped away from that whole kind of falling for the celebrities so much because I, w I wanted to capture the essence of the real people, you know, and the everyday man, and like we went out to Rio and was performing magic in the favelas and with the street kids and like these kids half of them don't even have TVs you know so when you perform magic to these like their faces light up you know like they, you, their eyes like just, just flicker like they've seen you know something the most amazing thing I've ever seen in their lives you know and I think for me right now that's what it's about it's about capturing that moment of wonder a minute to share it with you know with people and not just you know your A-listers you know with everybody The Princess Trust giving me money in the first place, they gave me like £2,000. Um, I wouldn't have been able to get a camcorder or a laptop and been able to go and start filming my videos. So then you never would have you know, seen my things on YouTube or the TV show. I think, you know, like the Olympics is all about an aspiration to do something. And I think a lot of, a lot of people nowadays are inspired by different things from, from different arts, you know, from music, from film. Um, television, you know, and uh, magicians. Um, so I think if you all work together, you know, alongside the Olympics and alongside each other, then we're going to inspire more people. And, you know, in for the next Olympics after this one, you know, we'll have more young athletes going up there to compete and hopefully bring home some gold medals. I think England and London will be remembered for hopefully winning loads of golds at this Olympics. And if nothing else, throwing the best Olympic parties ever.